Good afternoon, booktube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's been going on five days and I just want to break the, the silence and say, hey, you know, I'm still out here. I'm, I think about making a video every day, but at least every other couple of days, but I'm not really reading. I mean, in the mornings, I'm still reading. I've been showing this for months. I'm still reading Reform Systematic Theology, Volume 3, Spirit and Salvation. I'm on Chapter 40, and I've only got maybe... maybe 50 pages left. And I've been reading in the mornings The Rudolf of Saxony. This is uh, part two, volume one, chapters one to 57. I'm on chapter 57 tomorrow. So I'm, I'll be done with this. So been reading those in the mornings. This is, as, I, as I've mentioned, this is volume, this is part two, volume one, chapters one to 57. Part two, volume two comes out this month I think the 22nd of April, and I'll start reading that. This is, I think I've shown you, I've always shown you the, this is the three volume, the fourth volume comes out this month. So I've been reading those, and then I also have been reading uh, the third spiritual alphabet by Francisco de Ozano. I can't pronounce his name, he was a Spanish mystic. He lived from 1492 to 1540. So I, I read this in the mornings. And that's what I've been reading pretty much since my last video. I've been reading those. And uh, I have tons of books downstairs. That's why it's kind of daunting to make these videos because there's so many books that I, thrift store books or books I've gotten in the mail, used books, and uh, it's just, and they're all over the house. I mean, I'm sitting in my main study. This is my study. And the books are down the lower level all over the place and I have to gather them and I have to be in a certain frame of mind to talk about them. But I did uh, what I've been reading today is a Saturday. It is April the 16th, 2022. April the 16th is 4 4 4.45 in the evening and I bought a book Friday at the Book Nook and it's this book by Helen Gel Gelchrist, The Age of Miracles Stories. I, I collect her writings and I didn't have this one in my collection and so f yesterday when I was, Book Nook was really quiet yesterday start reading the short stories out of this book and I've just been reading it pretty consistently. Uh, I read uh, a couple of weeks ago or a month ago I was reading her short story collection called Drunk with Love. I think I showed those and I read some stories out of that and I've been reading stories out of this since I started reading it yesterday. I think I showed you that I got this book at a thrift store, Margaret Dribble, The Radiant Way. I've been reading this too. I've read almost 118 pages of this paperback, which is around 372 pages. So I've been reading this I also got a book at the Book Nook. I'm not sure if I've shown this one, The Psychedelic Renaissance, Reassessing the Role of Psychedelic Drugs in 21st Century Psychiatry and Society by Dr. Ben Sesa. So I've been reading this 
what I want something not literary but non nonfiction. So I've been reading this. As you all know, I'm into psychedelic drugs and mushrooms, magic mushrooms and mescaline and LSD. And when I was in high school, my late high school and early 20s, I was into psychedelics. In part of the six, late 60s, I got this book in the mail and I read a little bit of this. Uh, this is a biography on Th uh, Henry David Thoreau. This is by Henry Sedell Camby. I showed you I bought his American Memoir by Camby and I bought uh, his Literary History of America, which he is one of the contributors. And uh, I bought used this biography he wrote on David Henry David, was it Henry David Thoreau? So I've been reading a little bit of this. I've read a lot on the Transcendentalists, American Transcendentalists, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Thoreau, people like that, Margaret Fuller, Alcott's, and that whole time period, 1830s, 1840s, and 50s in America up until the outbreak of the Civil War. So I've been looking at this. It's kind of like a, a reread, but he's really a, a good writer. Uh, Henry Sedal Camby, he's, he's, uh, he's worth reading, uh, checking him out. He has a biography on Walt Whitman that I plan to buy uh, sometime this year. You can get really cheap. I got this for six, I think six dollars. So I, that's what I've been reading, you know, writing in my diary. Today I ended on page 383 for the year 2022. Tomorrow, well yesterday it was Good Friday, and so tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday. And so it's been a holy week, and it's been kind of normal. It's been kind of cold, and today we did go to uh, Zealand, which is north of us. It's just it's about ten minutes from where we live, and I got sunflower seeds and cracked corn for our birds. And we stopped at thrift stores, and I got a couple of books. Uh, I got books that had come in the mail last week, biographies. There was a biography by Margaret Dribble that I bought. Uh, uh, I, can't, I, think it, I think it's by Augustus Wilson. I can't remember. It. My mind went blank, but I bought a biography that she wrote on a writer that I've been kind of interested in. Uh, so I bought a, I got that in the mail, along with this biography on Thoreau. So yeah, I've been reading Ellen Galchrist's The Age of Miracles stories, diving a little bit on the life of Henry David Thoreau, reading The Radiant Way, a novel. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I looked at her other novels, uh, Margaret Drebbel, and they all kind of sound the same storyline. But um, I'm enjoying reading this, and I check her out. Reading about the psychedelic renaissance, uh, uh, reassessing the role of psych psychedelic drugs in the 21st century psychiatry and society. Uh, Really interesting. I'm really like that. Reading some Spanish mysticism, the third alphabet, the third spiritual alphabet by Francisco de Alzu. I can't pronounce that, but I wish I could. And I'm almost finished with Rudolph of Saxony. This volume, I can't wait to get part two, volume two, so I can start reading that. And I'm almost finished reading Beaky, 
this the third uh the fourth volume doesn't come out until next year but uh i have you know i still been reading this systematics i'll probably get back into reading uh van manstrit theoretica practical theology the works of god and the fall of man probably when i finished beaky this volume i got just you know 50 pages left I'll just, if I want to read some systematic theology, some Dutch Reformed theology, I'll read this. I read, I found out last night that the fourth volume might come out at the end of this year, 2022, the fourth volume. It's going to be a sixth volume, I think. Six, maybe eight volumes, I'm not sure. It could be, I think it's six, maybe eight volumes, translation. This is translated by Todd M. Reasoner, uh, edited by Joel R. Beakey. So, I got tons of systematic theology to read if I want anything. Uh, so that's it. You know, I'm doing okay. You know, I'm taking my, uh, I'm doing my sciatica exercises, and my legs are a lot better, and I'm not so depressed. Carol had a good time when she was in Washington visiting our son Josiah and Hannah, little Marika, and a, the new baby Lydia. She had a good time. She leaves next month to visit our daughter in May. Carol will leave on the 21st and come back on the 30th of May. So I'll be again. I'll be alone again next month for a, over a week. I didn't crack up. I didn't go nuts. So. So yeah, writing in my diary, reading my books, watching the birds, waiting for spring to come. I got the lawnmower already. I took it in to get serviced. I got the blades sharpened and the, got a new filter and new oil and a tune-up. And, and I, I should work on my flower garden, but I'm not really, it's kind of early. To do any kind of gardening. I think you're supposed to do it around Memorial Day. I think that's when you really do it, which is the 30th of May is when you really start working on your gardening. Right now it's really cold. It's still in the 40s and 30s. So that's what's going on here. I'm um, just going through life. Praying, uh, so I just want to stop by and say I hope you're all doing well. I know it's been five days, and here life is pretty quiet. Days go just zoom by, and uh, so yeah. So I hope you had a good Holy Week, a good Reading Week. I hope you have a good Resurrection Sunday. We're going into the end of the month, and yeah. So I hope you're all doing well. I try to respond to comments. Like I said, I can't, they don't always show up at the bottom of my videos, but I look for them and try to respond to them in an intelligent and uh, think about them and not just say anything, but make try to make some, something that's meaningful and intelligent in the comments. So yeah, not much else to say. Like I said, I got tons of used books books in the mail, just all kinds of books. And I'll get around to that someday when I'm really in the mood. <laughs> but I just want to stop by and say hi. Hope you had a good Holy Week. Hope you have a blessed Resurrection Sunday, which here in America is called Easter. I don't bow down to the, to the Easter Bunny. I mean, to me, Easter is is paganized here in America. To me, uh, I look at tomorrow as Resurrection Sunday. So I'll sign off and hope you're all doing well. Once again, thank you for your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And until next time, bye.